Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Within this video, we will be covering the DJI Terra software and talking about its key functionality and main selling points. But before we deep dive into those, I do like to share some example and results was collected from DJI Terra software. The first scenario we're looking at right now is a cell tower. Upper left corner, you would find a image which was originally captured by a drone. Now this photo contains the structure of the cell tower. On the right side, you will find that same structure. However, this one was a model reconstructed by DJI Terra software, utilizing image data captured from drone. So that shows one key functionality of DJI Terra, which is Terra is a powerful photogrammetry process tool. It can convert the real world asset and digitalize it. Bottom left corner, you'll find the same model processed from DJI Terra, but without color. As you can see, using the photogrammetry process algorithm, Terra software is able to convert 2D imagery uh, into a 3D model. Next scenario we're looking at is vehicles. Public safety customers might find this very helpful to reconstruct complex scenes such as accident reconstruction. Um, utilizing drones, you can cover good amount of area and toss the data into DJI Terra to construct the scene using the image capture from drones directly. And next we have is on the surveying part. So with a good amount of photos and the data, it becomes very challenging for user to process all the data and produce great results. So DJI Terra is an offline software uh, can handle a good amount of data based on the um, computer configuration. Not only the photogrammetry process, but DJI Terra can also do LiDAR data conversion. So using the DJI Terra software, user can convert raw data which was captured by Zemu's L1 payload and output point cloud result. So those are the examples and results captured from DJI Terra. And here we have the DJI Terra functionalities and the main selling points. I'm going to deep dive in each one, but before that, let's deep dive into the first one, which is the photogrammetry reconstruction. The photogrammetry reconstruction is the top selling point of DJI Terra software. It enables users' capability to reconstruct any scenes and generate a digitalized version of the scene. It is widely used in the following scenarios such as accident reconstruction, site mapping, vertical structure or structure overall inspection use for 3D modeling, uh, and pre-visualization overall. Results processed from DJI Terra is very accurate, and the workflow to process these photogrammetry projects is very easy. DJI Terra software provides user a simple-to-use user interface, but also packed with many powerful tools to ensure user can output results with great accuracy effectively. The image post-modification tool allows user to define and modify camera specification based on the image imported into Terra. And user can actually import multiple sets of data from different flights into one project and process them out and merge them as one deliverable. Ground control points as well as checkpoint management tool is also available in DJI Terra, so you can use ground control points to improve the accuracy of your result as well as using checkpoints to verify the accuracy of the result. Output coordinate transformation tool allows user to transform the coordinate system 
to the target coordinate system they want to use. We have a library allowed user to select from, whether it's geodetic coordinate system or projected coordinate system, user can find those system directly from DJI Terra software. We also have a PRJ import optional for user to import PRJ file directly to define the custom coordinate system. The seven parameters transformation tool is also available for user to transform the coordinate system into custom Cartesian coordinate system. We also have custom region of interest selection for processing tools. So user can define the boundary of the reconstruction to save processing time. Highly efficient. DJI Terra software is generally three to five times more efficient compared to other photogrammetry processing tools in the market. And based on the need as well as the scale of the reconstruction project, user can upgrade their hardware and using cluster version of DJI Terra software to improve the efficiency of the process. For reference, the processing efficiency of Terra under a single machine is equivalent to 7 knots PC configuration when using a third-party photogrammetry process software. And Terra cluster version with 10 knots would only take 43 hours to reconstruct a massive auto mosaic project uh, which contains over 55,000 Zemus P1 images by producing 3 centimeter ground sampling distance resolution and covering over 8,000 acres of region. Scalability. And again, based on the project size and the need, Terra machine can be upgraded to fulfill large scale reconstruction project. For reference, with 64 gigabytes of RAM configuration, Terra can process about 25,000 images per project. And the cluster version with multiple nodes can fulfill need to process 400,000 images per project. User can expand their current configuration by adding more RAMs to increase photo count limit for DJI Terra. Next, we're going to cover is the multispectral data processing. Multispectral data processing is available for processing the multispectral data collected from Mavic 3 multispectral or P4 multispectral drones. DJI Terra can process these photogrammetry data uh, along with a multispectral index map. NDVI, NDRE, LCI, GNDVI, OSAVI, these index map can be easily generated and reconstructed using DJI Terra. And not only that, DJI Terra software combined with Argus series drones can output chemical spray mission for Argus series spraying drones to perform spraying mission based on the health of the crop. LiDAR data processing. If the user has a Zemio series LiDAR payload, they can use DJI Terra software to import raw data and easily calculate the post data and fuse point cloud data with the visible light, colorize the point cloud, then export the point cloud in standardized formats for third-party software to import. And user can use DJI Terra software to adjust the point cloud density directly, output the point cloud in different formats, merge point clouds from multiple flights and into one. So you can output a single point cloud file which contains multiple flights together. You can also remove noise and reduce point cloud thickness using DJI Terra Pro version and strip alignment and optimize point cloud accuracy using the Terra Pro version. You can use DJI Terra software and import check shots to verify the accuracy of the LiDAR scan also. DJI Terra is going to output a report with the accuracy 
uh, of the LiDAR scan. Next we have is basic flight mission planning. So we do support certain drones in terms of mission planning and DJI Terra supports mission planning for the following drone. Phantom 4 TK, Phantom 4 Pro version 2, Phantom 4 Pro Plus version 2, Phantom 4 Pro and Phantom 4 Advanced and Phantom 4. To be noted, the following mission planning feature only supports following drones. So first mission planning is waypoint mission. User can create a waypoint mission within DJI Terra directly by connecting the remote controller to the computer and create a mission and execute a mission. You can easily adjust the altitude speed, gimbal pitch angle, aircraft heading, and camera settings. Next we have is mapping mission. So using DJI Terra software, you can create a mapping mission directly and you can draw the boundary of your mapping mission and DJI Terra is going to create flight route automatically for users to fly. And once the mission is created, users just need to execute the mission and the drone would fly automatically and Terra software is going to show user the live video feed from the drone. Next we have is oblique missions. So in addition to mapping missions, DJI Terra software also does oblique missions. To create multiple flight routes with gimbal tilted to capture a scene with different angles. This is helpful if you want to create a 3D model uh, and you want to collect data needed for the process. And the last basic flight mission we have is corridor mission. This is very helpful when you're trying to map out a road, highways, or river. You can simply draw a line on the map along with these roads or railways, and DJI Terra is going to create a mission based on the width you select, and it's going to separate the entire mission into smaller portions based on the flight time of your aircraft. Next, we have real-time 2D and real-time 3D mapping. The real-time 2D mapping and real-time 3D mapping is only available for the following drones. Fender 4 TK, Fender 4 Pro V2, Fender 4 Pro Plus V2, Fender 4 Pro, and Fender 4 Advanced and Fender 4. Same drones we saw from the previous sections. Let's talk about real-time mapping first. When connect the remote controller to the Terra machine using a USB cable, Terra is able to pull the cache image received from the drone directly and stitch those images together to generate a real-time 2D map. Uh, this is very helpful for time-sensitive mission and for situation awareness. And similarly, we have real-time 3D mapping as well. So using that same cache file, received from the remote controller, DJI Terra is able to process a 3D model as the drone flights. And as the drone flights further, the model is going to accumulate bigger and bigger. And this is very helpful again for situation awareness use. And not only it generates a matched model, it also has a point cloud version of the model available after the process. Next, we're going to cover is detailed inspection mission planning. The detailed inspection mission is a unique functionality in DJI Terra electricity version. And this mission is only available for the following drones. Phantom 4 DK, Matrice M30 series, Matrice M300 DK with Zemus H20 series, Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, Mavic 3 Enterprise, and Mavic 3 Thermal. The detailed inspection mission planning feature allows users to import a reconstructed model, whether it's meshed or point cloud model, into DJI Terra software and select 
the area they would like to inspect within that model. And Terra is going to generate the waypoint as well as a flight route autonomously for the drone to execute. So within this settings page, user is able to change the orientation of the drone, camera view angle, camera zoom, and other camera parameters. They'd be able to see how far away their flight route is against the nearest obstacle. This way, you, they can create a mission safe without actually needing to be on the site and create a mission. The last terror feature I would like to go through in this video is measurement and annotation tools. These tools are available when the user finish the reconstruction and they can use these tools to measure the coordinates. And we also have a linear measurements available for users to measure the length and area measurement to measure area for the 2D and 3D models. We also have volumetric measurements available for users to measure volume in 3D models. The annotation tool can allow users to edit labels for these measurements and save these measurements with labels. And they can output these measurements as well. We have an additional feature in Terra is called photo inspection. By dropping a point anywhere on the reconstructed model to inspect the point of interest. DJI Terra actually filter out all the raw photos only contains that point of interest. And you can easily open up these photos and zoom in to inspect your point of interest from different photos and different angles. Okay, with that being said, that's everything about DJI Terra key functionalities. And moving forward, I do like to talk about license plans because we do have different versions of DJI Terra software. And the pro license we have versus the electricity license we have, the only difference is electricity has the additional detailed inspection mission planning feature. The cluster version has all the functionalities of DJI Terra. In addition, it supports connectivity to three external nodes to speed up the process by utilizing additional hardware. And pro version and electricity version uh, are annual based. So you can purchase the license and the time is available for one year. Uh, or for the pro version and the cluster version, you can select permanent version of the license, which you can use software offline forever. And uh, for the first year, we will provide update for free. And uh, moving forward to the next year, uh, user will need to pay a maintenance fee to update the program. For the cluster version, in addition to three nodes, if user want to expand the nod, uh, they can purchase the nod upgrade uh, package as well. Last but not least, we have some frequently asked questions about DJI Terra. The first question is, what are the system requirements for the 2D and 3D reconstruction when using Terra? We do have some minimal system requirements. First of all, we need to use the PC with a Windows operating system. The Mac doesn't work. Uh, secondly, the PC has to have a NVIDIA graphics card. The AMD graphics card doesn't work when it comes to 2D and 3D reconstruction. And uh, we do have some recommended system requirements such as 64 gigabytes of RAM and the NVIDIA RTX 2070 graphics card or higher. Uh, CPU wise, it doesn't matter if it's AMD or Intel, but uh, based on the skill of the project, you will need to upgrade your RAM correspondingly. Second question we have is, can I unbind devices from Terra licenses? The answer is yes. You can unbind your uh, device from the Terra Pro electricity and cluster licenses. Uh, the trial license, you cannot unbind. Um, but to unbind your paid licenses, you will need to contact DJI support. And all the one device licenses can only be unbound once every year. 
Third question is, will unbinding the software change its first binding date? The answer is no. Uh, last question we have is, can I replace the hardware of my device after the offline version is bound to it? Answer is no. If the license is already bound to the device uh, and if the hardware got changed, the license will become invalid. Uh, when that happens, you will need to contact DJI support to get the license unbind, then rebind when the hardware is changed. Okay, with that being said, that's everything about today's video. And thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about DJI Terra, you can go to DJI website to learn more. And uh, thank you for watching again. And I'll see you in the next one.